Still early spring, although most of the plants that attract the insects are still not here, you can get some great macro shots in your own back garden, just like these. I was hoping to find some insects that might be using the thick leaves of this pig squeak plant for shelter. Unfortunately, I didn't find any, but I did find this unusually shaped leaf that had dropped from the plum tree above. Focus on it and get my thumb out of the way. It only had a very short stem, just barely enough for me to hold on to to take a photo. To me, this dead old leaf looks like the skeleton of a horse. What do you think? Next on my macro garden hunt was this silver mist plant. Looking closer, I was lucky enough to spot this spider nestled between the silver leaves. The bush was being blown around by the wind and the spider was in a slightly awkward position. Luckily for me, he did move and I was able to get a much better shot before he scurried away to hide behind one of the leaves. A little further down on the same bush, I did manage to find a shield bug taking refuge from the cold. Holding my breath and keeping the camera as steady as I could, I was able to get the single non-stack shot. Let's leave him or her alone and we'll go on to see what else we can find. I decided to take a closer look at ground level. So taking my Alice pill, I'm fighting my way through the undergrowth. I eventually came across this small plant with tiny blue purple flowers. The flowers really weren't much bigger than the head of a pin. I think this may be called speedwell or perhaps some sort of chickweed. If you do know what it's called, please let me know in the comment section below. I had to get the camera and lens touching the floor as I didn't want a top down shot. The first picture shows the flower shielded by cactus like leaves. The second is cropped and shows just how beautiful this tiny flower really is. Okay, so what attracted me to this plant are the small dead, looks like flower husks. They look a little bit bell shaped and look quite interesting. This Ceanothis is covered in these striking red buds that burst open in mid-spring to reveal small lilac flowers. The flowers attract bees and other pollinators. They also hide ambush spiders that lay in wait for whatever unfortunate insect has a misfortune to land on one of their flowers. I think it's a good idea to sometimes step outside your comfort zone and take a photo of something slightly different from the usual plants and insects. Today my garden shed seemed to fit that bill nicely. Ok so not the whole garden shed but the knots and patterns in the wood were something unusual and slightly different to practice upon. I found this unfortunate spider on one of the hedge leaves. You can clearly see it is missing several limbs. I can only guess what happened to it. I've heard that spiders can grow back the missing limbs. I hope he does. I sometimes think macro photography is like one of them spot the difference pictures. That first one you look at it, 
there is no difference. And then when you start to look closer, you do spot the differences. When you first look at something, you don't always see what's there. But if you just stand still and wait and look more closely, oft times you do find something that catches your eye. Thanks to all of you who have gave this video and my previous videos a thumbs up or who have subscribed. It really is appreciated. Thanks. Apparently scientists have proven those that give YouTube videos a thumbs up are twice as good looking as those that don't. Just saying.